What's up YouTube, it's Steven back again with yet, oh yes, another unboxing video. And it looks like we've got another burr grinder. Uh, I've been having a tough time trying to find a good replacement for my Starbucks burr grinder, which served me for about 10 years. And it appears that the price that I paid for it did not actually reflect the quality. When I started using the bottom, I realized very quickly that man, this thing isn't as good as this other broken one. Why? This next burr grinder over here is, is a little bit more upscale than the Bodum. It's made by a company called Capresso, which is a mix of two words, cafe and espresso, in case you guys didn't figure that out already. This is called the Infinity 560. This is the 0.01 version, which means it's the newest version. And this particular one has a couple of features that are very unique, unique to it, which we'll get to after we do the unboxing part of the video right here. So let's get to it. So first thing you get is you get a set of instructions because this is a bilingual country, you will get an English set of instructions as well as a French set of instructions. Opening the box right here and pulling out the device. Styrofoam squeaky. Now we've got the styrofoam exposed here and on the outside here we've noticed that there's a panel and inside this panel is the coffee container where the grinds come out and go into this one. We'll get to that in a second. We see that there's the hopper right here. And down here is the main Capresso 560.01 machine in black. Let's start with opening up the base right here first. So the Capresso machine comes in two colors, I believe. This one's the black one. There may be other com uh, colors, but I'm not quite aware of those at the moment. It comes with a standard two prong over here. This is where the magic is. This is a Conoco burr grinder, but this has a massive burr gear over here. So lifting this entire assembly out, you can see there's the burr on the inside there, and here's the burr gear on top of that. So it's quite a bit bigger. Now, larger burr gears actually allow the grinding process to be a little bit cooler because you're using a larger surface area to dissipate the heat. And combined with the other feature of this grinder, which is the fact that it has a low RPM spin, which is about 450 RPM, it'll grind your coffee much slower, but it'll also retain a lot more of the aroma rather than burning it off due to heat. So this is actually very good at extracting the maximum flavor out of your coffee. There's also a gasket up top right here, which comes off for easy cleaning. This is a silicone gasket and it kind of guides the beans down into the burr grinder from the hopper right here. Now on the front of the unit here, you have 16 different levels of grinds uh, and there's a standard egg timer um, on off switch right here. Uh, you go anywhere from the regular coarse grinds, which are good for French press, all the way down to the extra fine grind, which is perfect for Turkish coffee. And in the front over here, this is where the uh, coffee container goes. This container right here will hold up to four ounces of ground coffee. Let's look at the hopper next over here. This is a, uh, I believe it's an 8.8 .8 ounce hopper. And this has a, um, a sealed lid up on top here, which makes it uh, easy for storing some coffee beans between grinds. Inside here, you get a uh, instruction manual for how to put your hopper in place. And that little package bag right here comes with a coffee scoop, as well as a brush right here for cleaning out the burr gears. Now the hopper itself is it's completely see-through, so you can spot any beans that have gotten trapped inside here. It is also very easy to install. In fact, uh, based on what I'm looking at here, there's a black dot, and I think that it matches up with this white thing over here. So I'm just gonna pop that in like so, and turn it. Now there is a nice stepped action between each notch up to 16 different settings, which is nice for remembering exactly where you put it the last time. However, if you want to get in between grinds here, it's more difficult because it is stepped. And then the hopper lid goes right on top, like so. So it's a very compact machine. It fits very nicely in a very small spot on your kitchen counter. And then finally, we have the four ounce coffee container. Now this does have a max fill line up here, so if you go any further than this, what could happen is that the grinds will actually start to back up into the motor and it may cause the motor to burn out, so you don't want to go past the max fill line. And it goes in just like that. Now the container here is an anti-static. 
that part of the uh, equation is taken care of by the slower grind. When you're able to grind a little bit slower, you don't create as much static electricity. So it, hopefully it won't start flying around everywhere. And the grind is at 450 RPM, so it's actually a very low noise, and it also produces a lot less heat, allowing the coffee to get into the container with as little damage to its flavor profile as possible. So that's the Capresso Infinity 560.01 version of their coffee burr grinder. Uh, this is a low RPM grinder that should be very quiet. Retail price on this is about the $100 range depending on where you buy it. Uh, in the US I believe it's around $100 or so. In Canada I paid about $149 through Amazon Canada. And again those links are at the bottom in the description for you if you choose to pick up one of these. It's sold in a lot of different coffee specialty stores and it's highly recommended by almost all of them. And if you like what you're seeing here don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do do more things than coffee grinders. I just happen to have a coffee crisis in my life right now and I am auditioning as many units as possible to find the right one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Take care guys.